mighty Michigan, too, has felt the pain of the arduous campaign. Starting quarterback Scott Dreisbach injured. The Wolverines look to the talented junior tailback Tim Biakabatuka to pick up the slack. It's Michigan and Indiana next. Former defensive coordinator, now the head coach at the University of Michigan. A record of 5-1 and one in his first season. Michigan won the toss as you get a look at the conditions they'll play under here. They elected to defer their decision to the second half. Indiana will receive the kickoff to begin the ball game here this afternoon. Indiana operating an offense from north to south. Ajamu Stoner, number 16, dropping back deep to receive this opening kickoff. Joey Ellums also back deep for Indiana. Jay Feely kicking off. He's put six into the end zone this season, and here's his approach. We're underway. From Indiana, Ajamo Stoner from the seventh. Stoner waited for his blocking nicely. Good run back here. May go all the way. Stoner to the 40, to the 30. Yanked down from behind on a touchdown saving tackle near the 25-yard line. Brian Williams, the quarterback. It's first and five now for Indiana inside the 25 of Michigan. Glover upended by William Carr. Last week, 199 yards on 48 attempts. Alex Smith and Michael Batts both on the shelf with injuries, and they go to Glover again. Good cutback move there, and Glover down near the 20-yard line, about three yards short of the first down. The, the freedom to roam and make some big plays at linebacker. Third down and three for Greenlee and company. Michigan coming on a blitz. Glover gets the call, and he's not going to get the first down. Good pursuit by the Michigan defense. They really strung it out. Steve King, the free safety, came over to make the hit. No gain, and it is a fourth down for Indiana. Manolopoulos with a 37-yard field goal attempt for the first points of the game, and he's got Indiana on the lead. 68-yard kickoff return by a Jono Stoner. Practiced the off week, but did get in some drills this past week, and he was questionable for the game here this afternoon. This is Bianca Batuka, and he's got a first down up near the 30-yard line on a gain of about 12 yards. Shorter by the score, 3-0. Tight end Campbell moves to the line on the right side. Bianca Batuka, the lone option behind Greasy, and this is a good option indeed. Tim Bianca Batuka down the sideline. The Indiana's 30 and forced out of bounds inside the 25. At the 23-yard line, Joey Ellums forced him out of play. We've talked about the Indiana defense, Randy, with the coaches here this weekend. It is the defense that comes in ranked very well in most yardage categories, but one area that has been very concerning is that Indiana has given up big plays. That time, a 47-yard run. We talked about the Akapituka being able to start off inside. Michigan on a second down. It's about nine yards to go. Greasy to pass. Robinson with some pressure, and they set up the screen nicely. This is Chris Howard inside the 10-yard line for a Michigan first down. Nine-yard line of Indiana for the Wolverines. Mercury Hayes, the man in motion. Greasy to Bianca Batuka to Hayes, who bobbled on the reverse, but they still may get positive yardage, and they do, inside the two-yard line. Usually when you see a collision in the backfield like that, they lose the timing on the play, but that time it was so well blocked up front, Randy, that they were able to pick up some positive yardage. That's the key point right there, Wayne. It was so well set up and blocked up front. Inside the two-yard line, second and goal, Michigan. Straight T formation to the backfield. Looking for running room to the outside, and that is Ed Davis, the backup tailback. Warnicky made the stop on the play. Couldn't get it in there and had to settle for the field goal. There's a big play in the game early to set it up for the Indiana defense to set a tone right here. Will Carr is the big blocking back out there, a defensive lineman, but this time Indiana swarms for the football. Nowhere to go for Ed Davis. Eric Allen led the charge of Hoosiers. A loss of about four back to the five, and Michigan facing fourth down. Field goal attempt. He's four of four from inside the 30 this season. And he's got this ball game tied with 10-17 left to go. In this first quarter, Indiana and Michigan are tied at three apiece. Trying to make a play, those penalties will happen. The lack of concentration penalties 
is what will drive a coach crazy. Greenlee's a fifth-year senior out of Columbus, and he looks to the air here, and he had his man. He hit the tight end, Darren Ward, right between the eight and the nine on his jersey. That sets up a big play right here, third and 14. Backs. That's Matthews, good speed to the top of your screen. Stoner on the bottom at wide receiver. Greenlee on third and long. They screen it out to Glover, and he's caught from behind. Nice play. The ball popped loose, but I believe that play had been whistled dead at the 12-yard line. He is 16th national. He's second in the Big Ten in punting at 43.1 yards per punt. And Michigan has the return on. Zabkowski gets off a pretty good punt right here. Toomer makes the first man miss. Gets the corner. And he's got some real estate in Indiana territory. Matter of fact, he's going all the way to the 10, to the 5. Touchdown, Michigan. 57-yard return. Amani Toomer and Michigan takes the lead, 9-3. to three. Maybe that's one reason why Michigan has their starting wide receivers on their special teams, because they can make plays happen. Toomer makes the first man miss, then gets behind the protection. Right there, you see him make the first man miss, and then he sees the wall setting up over here, picks up some very, very good blocks, and then Allen right there, number 27. Penalty markers are down, and the kick is through the uprights and good. Penalty markers down on the play. The Indiana Hoosiers, and here's the snap. Well, they almost got two at that time. A high kick, fair catch signal made. Smedley knocked over Toomer. That was a late signal, I thought, on the fair catch. But nonetheless, contact made, and it'll be a penalty against Indiana, I believe. I, I agree with you, Wayne. They're definitely going to call Smedley for interfering here. On that shoulder, it gets more tender and sore the next time you go out. Smedley and Stoner back deep for Indiana to receive this punt from Nate DeLong. And the return game is on for Indiana here. Eric Smedley, the safety. Good move there. Fumble the football. Bad move there. And Michigan apparently has it at the Indiana 40. Turnovers have killed this Indiana football team this year. And they have put Michigan in a position after stopping them defensively, making some plays. They put their defense in a tough spot, giving them the ball right here on the 40-yard line. Receiver as or a defensive back is designed play. Second down at about six. That's the tight end to Campbell in motion. This is Floyd, and Floyd goes nowhere. Loss of about four yards back near the 40-yard line. Michigan going for it on third down. A third and ten for Michigan from the 40-yard line, just outside the 40 of Indiana. We are second quarter, and Greasy looks to the air. Oh, they picked up the linebacker well on the blitz. And a deep pass. He's got Toomer out there at the five for the end zone, and he's just out of bounds short of the goal line. They're going to mark it near the two. A big play, Brian Greasy, and this is the first time Michigan has really gone downfield. To come over to the sideline, talk that over. Straight team formation, power formation for Michigan, and Davis gets the call going wide. Got a block from William Carr. Davis to the goal line for the touchdown on a good second effort. Ed Davis had to play off the tackle attempt by Nathan Davis and Eric Smedley to get the touchdown, and Michigan extends the advantage to 16-3. to Ed Davis is a backup tailback, but if you ask him, he doesn't look at it as a backup, and he doesn't run this play like a backup. He stretches it all the way out to the sideline, has a chance to be tackled there by Smedley, and just runs him over, gets the ball into the end zone. Point after now for the Michigan Wolverines, Remy Hamilton. And he uh, drills it through the upright, the low liner. Michigan now leads 17-3. to middle of the Michigan defense. Greenlee off play action. Going deep for Matthews, and it's nearly intercepted on the play near the 45-yard line. Charles Woodson, the red shirt freshman, excellent coverage. Back this program produces if ball goes well and he stays healthy. I think back to Trip Wellborn, who would have been a star in the NFL today, had it not been for a devastating knee injury in a senior season at Michigan. There's a penalty marker down on this play as the hole opens up for Glover. 
for about a three-yard gain out to the 15. Irons makes the stop for Michigan. Michigan on top by 14 points, and the Wolverines start from their 42 on a first down. Bianca Batuka, since his first two carries, has struggled to pick up yardage. He gets about three there to the 45-yard line. Hayes, top of your screen. Tumor on the bottom. Third down, and it's about two yards to go for Michigan. Bianca Batuka running hard, and he's got the first down, it appears, just inside the Indiana 48. To the sidelines in Jim Barber. Michigan on the drive. We have under three minutes to go in this first half. From the Indiana 48, Bianca Batuka in the reverse once again, and this time Toomer looking to throw it. He's got a man out there, Mercury Hayes, inside the 10-yard line. They mark it just outside the 10. Joe King had the coverage. Well executed play by Michigan. 38 yard gain. Hayes does a very nice job of setting up this reverse, looking as though he's going to block. He hunts up his guys, slows down, and then breaks away. King saw the play develop, but not quite quickly enough, and he couldn't recover quickly enough to get back there and knock the play down. Good job by Hayes of faking it as though it was going to be a block turning it into a reception. And again, another big play, 38 yards that time by the Michigan offense. And Floyd hammering his way up the middle. Chris Floyd down near the five-yard line. Here. That's what I think they, they really, really need to do that. The power, eye, the power formation straight key and Greasy to the air to the end zone and a leaping grab for the touchdown. Jeremy Tillman. Sometimes you cover a play as well as you can, and the offense still is successful. Tuman slips right out of his tight end position. Greasy does a nice job on play action, finds him, but he looks like he's pretty well covered. Greasy just throws the ball in the only spot it can be, high away from the defenders. Remy Hamilton has the point after on its way and through the uprights, and Michigan leads it 24-3 to with 30 seconds to go, first half here in Bloomington. The reverse pass, and uh, they have uh, burned this Indiana defense on plays here and there. But down to down, Indiana's played pretty well on defense. A little naked roll to the right side, and wide open is the big tight end for the Michigan Wolverines. Mark Campbell, the red shirt out of Clawson, Michigan, and Jamie Baisley brings him down near the 35-yard line. Second down, still a long yarded situation, no game, basically. Second and 10. Brian Greasy sets up another screen pass. This one to Toomer, cutting it back against the green. Toomer slips another defender, and he's out across the 45. Excellent moves in the oh, opening field. Right on the bottom, that's Amani Toomer. Bianca Batu make that uh, Howard the lone setback, and Chris Howard gets the call out of straight-ahead move, and he's got the first down. He's on the second down. About seven yards to go. Howard again the call, and he steps through a tackle attempt and drives forward, and he apparently has the first down inside the 29-yard line. Movement science. Second down and 10 now for Michigan from the 29. Bianca Batuka, bit of a delay. Well, he makes people miss, doesn't he? Inside the 25 to the 24, gain of about five yards. Warnicky again made the stop for Indiana. Another safety in on that tackle from the 23 of Indiana. the near sideline who picks up the first down near the 16-yard line and once again football just outside the 16-yard line of Indiana Bianca Batuka good move up the middle down near the five-yard line and he has another first down first and goal coming up for Michigan he's up over the hundred yard mark in rushing here this afternoon already early third quarter first and goal Michigan Davis Davis brought down near the two-yard line, gained him about three yards. In Champaign. Greasy now on a second down and goal to go. The football near the three-yard line. He looks to the air for the touchdown of Toomer. Full slant pattern, well executed by both Greasy and Toomer, and Michigan extends the advantage. When you're a receiver like Amani Toomer, six foot four, you can go inside, you can go outside. Your defensive back has to be so aware of the, the ever-popular fade route that Toomer sets him up, breaks to the slant, and you can see two or three yards there of separation. And the Michigan Wolverines extend the advantage to 31-3. to three. A big day for Amani Toomer. Three touchdown receptions 
And we've got a break of the action with 9.44 to go in the third. From the straight shotgun, Greenlee scans the secondary. He's got a man out there. Oh, nifty catch. Wilkerson out of bounds and a penalty marker down for a late hit on winners. Well beyond the sideline. But you don't want to do anything to give a team that's down like this some momentum. Under five minutes to go in this third quarter. Glover has an opening. Down near the 10-yard line. Pickup of about eight yards. Steve King. Open. See what they try right here. Glover is the tail of the tandem in the eye. Greenlee on the option. It's blocked pretty well. Greenlee to the end zone for the Indiana touchdown. A beautiful play by Greenlee that time. And Wayne, you called it right. It looks like an option to the defense, but this is not a true option. And the kick is good. So the Indiana Hoosiers respond after Michigan scores 31 unanswered points. Indiana puts together a drive for a touchdown with 3.18 to go in the third. It's Michigan 31 to 10. Operating first down at its 42 yard line. Greenlee in a passing situation almost every down. And once again, Michigan gives him Glover open over the middle for a first down to the Wolverine 46 yard line. Chuck Winter has made the stop. Michigan says fumble. And now the officials signal Michigan football. That ball had to come loose very late in the play. It looked like they had whistled it dead. Steve King made the hit and the fumble recovery, and Glover can't believe it. Well, let's take a look at that. As he was catching the ball and running, he is surrounded by Michigan players. He looks like he had a pretty good wrap around on the ball. Right there, he covers it up with both hands, but it clearly comes out before his knees hit. This Michigan offense wants involved. We've seen it today in the running game and the passing game. When he's in there and effective, he can be a big, big weapon. Well, Howard made a good move. He made a hesitation move on Eric Allen, and that allowed him to pick up the first down on a gain of about 11 yards. Smedley finally made the stop downfield. Passing game around the running back, and it's been very effective. Chris Howard, a true sophomore out of River Ridge, Los Angeles. Greasy going for it all to the corner of the end zone, and there's a flag down to the play. Amani Toomer, the intended receiver, was tied up by Joey Ellis. The ball was thrown out of bounds. Clearly it was not. It was a good spot where Greasy put the ball. Now first and goal for the Wolverines and Chris Howard. Why not? He's been carrying the load in the second half, and he's got yardage down near the three-yard line. Maybe the two of Indiana. The football back to the eight-yard line. Play action and Greasy on the roll. Now he's coming back the other way to the end zone. Wanted to go to Howard, but threw it away. Howard was... Well covered down the sidelines that time. Offense right now. Howard, the lone setback. Greasy going to the corner for Toomer, and he overshot him incomplete. Pretty good coverage by Joey Ellums on the far side. And it will be for Michigan fourth down. And lead. Hamilton out of the hole of Jay Reaper's tight end and he nails another one here today we've got a break of the action 12 39 left to go fourth quarter in bloomington the michigan wolverines an impressive leader 81 yards passing and of course everyone knows he's going to have to pass a lot and he's going deep going for matthews and does he make the catch? It was a combination catch that time by the defensive back, Steve King, and by Eric Matthews. And let's see who they award the football to. It's going to be Indiana football. When you don't fool a defender. is our producer. And we're coming to you from the house. Memorial Stadium in Bloomington. Green Lane looking to the air for a touchdown. And he's got it. Only the second touchdown of the season through the air for Indiana. And the first touchdown pass in the career of quarterback Adam Greenlee. No, he did. Nonchalant. <laughs> and the uh, kick is up and good by Will Horn on the point after. So it's 34 to 17. Mention the Goody they brothers. It unblemished. From the shotgun on second down. Greenlee again to the air. 
due to his own blocker and had nowhere to go on the end. And down he goes at the 34-yard line, a loss of about three yards. Final seconds have to tick away here. Nine seconds to go, but Indiana calls another timeout. Rasheed Simmons made the stop on that play for Michigan. Could be the final play of the game. Nine seconds to go, and Greenlee in the gun. Looking deep, and why not? Go for it all. Wilkerson and Matthews are out there, and so are a pack of Wolverines, and this ball game is over on an incomplete. Well, hang on, an interception. The interception made by Chuck Winters. One second remaining. And the final play is Jason Carr dropped to one knee. The Michigan Wolverines with an impressive 34-17 win over Indiana. Now 6-1, 2-1 of the conference race for Randy Wright, Jim Barber, Wayne Larrabee, so long.